Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So firstly, I just want to say this video has been sponsored sponsored by EA. Um, they th flew me out to California for um, Sims Camp this year to focus on cats and dogs, mobile, and The Sims 4 um, console. So in this video, we are going through Create a Pet. And um, currently, I'm showing you guys all of the different breeds or majority of the breeds for dogs um in this video you guys will see um the traits and you guys will hear what the dogs sound like and you will also see some cat stuff of course and also the traits and i did i say traits i can't remember um and then also see how in-depth create a pet is oh my goodness it's ridiculously like detailed um crazy I also just want to th thank Andrew, Andrew Arcade, for allowing me to use some of his footage. Basically, it was just chaotic, and I didn't get enough time on the computer in order to get some of the, the footage that I needed. So, thank you to him for allowing me to use some of his footage. Um, greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you guys don't know who he is, definitely check out the links down below. I will leave his links along with a couple different articles for cats and dogs so you guys can get a little bit more detail besides my video because I'm not going to be extremely thorough as I'd hope. If you guys didn't hear right there, that was all of the sound effects that dogs make, like as far as barking. Um, and right now we're going through the dog traits. So as you can see, there's active, adventurous, aggressive, couch potato, friendly, glutton. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, we've got um, hairy. Um, we've got hunter. <laughs> independent so cute uh, jumpy like skittish kind of uh, playful or loyal sorry and then playful and then a sleuth I'm not sure what that stands for smart stubborn troublemaker oh my goodness there's that little turd droplet and vocal those are so cute um i love the traits that they decided to give um dogs and the cool thing about create a pet is they have these cute little poses if you guys can't tell and it makes it so easy to paint the underbelly of your dogs or your cats and i think it's so freaking cool um, because like I said it is super in-depth as far as how you can create your uh, your sim your animal your pet that it's just I don't know I can't even express it it's so much fun I can't oh there's a raccoon I, I don't know if you guys saw the fox um, I'm not 100% sure if you guys saw that fox before I cut out I don't know why I cut it out um, I apologize but um, I also want to apologize that this video is all over the place. Like I said, this is not my footage, so I don't know 100% what it is. And I did, like when I went through it to edit it, I did try to like look over it and just kind of see what's in it beforehand. But I like started editing this uh, like a week ago, and then I just now are revisiting it the day before it's allowed to be posted. I fell. I fell. It's really hard when you don't have the like the product in front of you, but I'm going off topic, guys. What's new? All these cats breeds are so freaking cute. And honestly, I'm a cat person and I literally died at every single breed. It's so cute. I just I want to snuggle and cuddle with all of these pets so freaking bad. <laughs> Wow, wow. 
Did you see how cute that freaking kitten was? Like, oh my goodness. All right, so now we're going through the traits. Uh, the traits we have is affectionate, aloof, clever, curious, fluffy, free spirit, oh, ew, um, friendly, so cute, oh my goodness, uh, frisky, uh, cats also have glutton, which loves food. I think we have glutton for um, our sims, too. Uh, lazy, mischievous. Uh, we have playful. <laughs> mischievous one. Uh, playful. Um, and then we have the prowler, which is kind of like the hunter for the dogs, just a little bit different. Um, skittish which is the jumpy for the dogs. Um, spoiled, spoiled Ryan. Um, talkative, which my favorite trait, let's be real. My cat is so talkative, Shadow. He doesn't shut up. Um, and territorial. So they will be like, get off, get off my property. Um, and now I'm just kind of speeding through, kind of showing you guys all of the stuff that you can edit for your dogs. And I believe I showed cats as well. It's basically the same thing. Um, or I didn't show it. Let's say Andrew showed it. <laughs> um, and this is kind of going through all of the breeds and kind of showing you guys what you have to offer as far as like already pre-made like color coats and stuff like that. Tails. You can literally change everything that you can imagine. Um, basically, Create a Pet is a lot like create a sim. Um, you can pull and drag, mold your pets into the pets that you want, which I love because it makes it so much easier to create your in real life pet if you guys have one. Um, because like, for example, for the Sims 3, it was very basic through create a sim was very, or create a pet was very basic, but it still was detailed for the Sims 3, if that makes sense. Um, but I loved that even though we don't personally have create a style for our sims or build or buy they threw in a little bit of create a style for the pets which is amazing because they know that people have some crazy pets out there there's even people that like die their pets i don't understand why um personally i would not do that but there there's people that do there's shops there's specifically shops that sit there and they die your pets when you like if you want them um there's also stamps that you can put on them there's like a plum bob there's freezer bunny there's stars like um, they're putting on stars right now there's leopard print there's zebra print there's fish there's even a little bow tie um and then we have some patterns that you can do to paint your sims and like pattern palettes i guess or like um stencils i guess you could say so like what is like brightening like lightening up if you paint like all over your dog or cat, it'll paint that stencil with the color that you have chosen. So if you want to have a skeleton dog, say if it's like Halloween and you want to make a skeleton dog, you can totally do that because there is a um, little stencil that you're able to use. And there's also the robo dogs and stuff like that already created if you just want to have a super fast, you know, pet created pet thing or whatever and you're able to just use those or you can just go in depth and in detail and take about two hours creating your pet there is so many options they did amazing and i just i can't wait oh there's also clothes clothes guys what oh my goodness i like if i was had a dog which we had a dog long story short we had to get rid of her because i was pregnant and it was not working out with daniel working nights Anyways, um, if I had a dog, I, especially a small dog, you, I want a freaking dog that I can put in a sweater, guys, especially going on a walk, and I bet you in the future when we do have, like, a dog again, it's gonna happen. Um, also, can I express how cute, like, uh, puppies and kittens are in this game? Oh my goodness, guys, you're gonna die. Um, I wasn't able to experience my pets having, um... Uh, babies or pet puppies or kittens or litter whatever you want to call it um but I did see somebody else's animals have puppies 
and kitties and they are so cute yes you can still have them even though you can't fully control your pets in the sims 4 cats and dogs you can still make them or order them or command them whatever you want to call it to go have puppies with so and so dog i think it's so cool and um just ooh, amazing this 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 expansion pack is probably going to be my favorite um i love having my sims have pets because i'm a pet owner and I love it. What is going on? Freaking Casper. Um, and then here's some of the cats uh, create a pet. Just kind of showing you guys what you can and can't do. Which you can do with like everything. Literally if you guys can't tell. So cute. So cute. I just want this. Like look at that. Did you see those rainbow whiskers guys? Like what? is going on with life right now you need this you need this game trust me it is so worth the money guys and i guarantee you i'm going to be giving away a couple um packs so if you guys aren't followed me on twitter is at real 92 follow me because i bet you i will announce when i'm going to do a, a giveaway so if you can't buy it trust me i will give you an opportunity to get it and win it so definitely follow me on twitter if you guys aren't but yeah sorry if you guys can hear one of my cats scratching on the scratching post i apologize okay so now we're gonna go ahead and look at create a sim for our simmies simmies sims i don't even know anyways so yeah, we're currently looking at the boy create a sim right now. I only got footage of the adult sims, the boy and a girl. I am sorry. I got the footage. I don't really have as much time as I wanted for, you know, recording uh, the videos that I wanted or needed. And so he let me go ahead and use my footage, as I mentioned before. So I'm... Um, he didn't get any of the children, I don't think. So we're just looking at um, the dudes and the girls' uh, adult sims. And I got to tell you guys something. There is so much more um, cast items for the boys in this pack compared to like the other packs, which is awesome. I think we have like 16 shirts and a few pants and a full outfit and a pair of shoes. Like it's insane. I never thought that like <laughs> there would be come a day where I'm so excited for male creative sims like items like it's it's pretty funny but yeah and the items we did get if you guys can't tell right here it's actually really nice um speaking of all these cats and dogs willow just jumped up on my lap she wants to say hello um but yeah so if you guys can't tell they're all so amazing they did so good the last shirt is actually for the vet career um and it can also you know the there's there's bottoms as well for that shirt and it can actually be used for like sleepwear i think i think i saw that it could be used for sleepwear i'm not 100 percent sure so don't quote me on it but i'm pretty dang positive um, but yeah, so then we have four, five, um, bottoms, including the little, uh, the bottoms for the vet career. Now Willow is rubbing my microphone on, or my, her head on my microphone. Cats are silly. Now she's, okay, I don't want your butt in my face. Okay, this voiceover has come to fail. Um, but yeah, so that is all that we have for um, Create a Sim for the dudes. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the female Create a Sim items. Um, let me tell you, the uh, hairstyles are so pretty. Oh my goodness, I can't get over it. Especially this bun one with the little uh, bow on the top. Like... It's so cute. Um, I, oh, I'm sorry if you guys can hear Willow like rubbing on my microphone. I, I don't understand what it is with cats. Okay, I just don't. And another thing is that there's this hair that actually has some ombre effects and some rainbow into it. Like, oh my god, look how pretty that looks, guys. 
Oh my, that looks like, like, mermaid hair. Like, the blue and green just looks like mermaid hair to me. Like, they did awesome with the hairs. Um, and then there's, like, Corilla DeVille type hair. So, like, you can make your Corilla DeVille for, like, you know, 101 Dalmatians. Like, so, mm, so cool. Like, you could totally make Corilla DeVille and totally do, like, the... 100 Dalmatian challenge or whatever 101 Dalmatian challenge like that would be so cute oh my goodness I okay sorry I got some like thoughts running through my head right now um another thing that we got were these really cute leggings and I think they're gonna be popping up here very soon um after the shirts of course and if you guys can't tell the uh, females don't have as much shirts as the males, which is definitely something that I was not expecting when I first, like, opened up this game and saw. But we did get quite a few outfits for the females, which usually that's how it rolls. Like, a lot of females, like, wearing, like, outfits, like, you know, one pieces, uh, dresses, or there's this cute overall um the outfit that I think is adorable this dress is adorable I love the back um and yeah I just feel like dresses kind of suit females a little bit better um and outfits in general I guess you could say not just dresses just outfits in general um but yeah so and then we've got a few bottoms um these cute little shorts um another skirt two skirts sorry my bad one has just plain colors and the other one has like different um patterns and stuff like that there's like cats there's this cute little poodle so you can totally have like those is it 70s or 60s that has the cute little poodle shirt or skirts like so cute um but yeah and i think i'm about to yeah here is the accessories there's a cute little bracelet i believe it's a it's a cat i could be wrong and then we have these cute little leggings. Like, I want them so bad. There's dogs and there's cats. Like, come on. Are you serious? Ugh, I need this in my life right now. We've got two shoes for the females. This kind of boot kind of type thing. And then also some flats that have cat ears and stuff like that. And, yeah, so cute. Love the creative some items. We also have two new traits that are coming in for the sims for this pack and they're actually super simple i mean come on it should be here no matter what we have um the aspiration is a friend of the animals and the two traits are dog dog lover and cat lover so that's all cast and cap so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys have an awesome awesome day and i will talk to you guys on my very next one bye everyone